Hey, honey, how was school? Oh, feet are killing me from walking all over campus. I offered a guy in a wheelchair a lap dance just to give me a ride to the car. Come over, sit here by me, oh. and I'll make you feel better. Oh, nice. Ooh, wh what the hell are you doing? Come on, Jimmy, just give him a little rub. No, Christina, you know how I am with feet. It's like they get sweaty, and then stuff gets stuck between the toes. And... <laughs> See what you did? Fine. Fine. You know what? Next time you want me to do something I'm not in the mood to do, I'm not going to do it. You don't rub Kim's feet, do you? Oh, yeah. When we were dating, I used to massage your feet for hours. Really? Because I've never seen you do it. Well, we're married now. I mean, you don't see me writing love poems or getting out of the shower to pee, either. <laughs> Long day, huh? Oh, there you are. Couldn't wait to get home and wrap my arms around you. Oh. Hi. I love you. <laughs> I bet your feet are killing you. Hey, don't tease me, all right? No, look, I felt bad about yesterday, so I have something for you. Take a look at this. What is that? That is the Podia Pool 8000. 32 jets that deliver tingling microbubble aeration. It's like having thousands of little fingers massage your feet. And the best part is none of them are mine. <laughs> Jimmy, I I'm not using that, okay? It's for old ladies. Oh, come on, Christine, look at the woman on the box. She seems to be enjoying it. Jimmy, she's 90. She's just happy that her feet are wet on purpose. <laughs> come on, will you just give it a try? What's the worst that could happen? Well, let's see, there's water, there's electricity, so um, that would be, uh, pff, death. Christine, they wouldn't sell something that wasn't absolutely safe. Said the man who drove me around while I was pregnant in a Pinto. Hey, that was a good car. And besides, if it wasn't for that back seat that folded down, you wouldn't have been pregnant in the first place, all right? Just try it. Fine. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> well? Ooh. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah. See, this is what a marriage is all about. It's like, you have a need, and I find a way to take care of it. Yep. <laughs> and sometimes I don't think you give me enough credit. It's like, there you were, just ready to, like, Jimmy, tee off. if you don't stop talking, you're going to ruin this for me. <laughs> uh, it's like we're in that backseat of that Pinto again. <laughs> Don't forget to put down the TV in the bedroom and that new laptop computer you got. Hey, what are you guys doing? Making an inventory list of all the valuables we have in the house. Hey, I told you before, I'm no thief. <laughs> if something's missing, you might want to check Christine's closet. We're switching our homeowner's insurance. Ah. Hey, so, uh, how's this whole homeowner's insurance work, anyway? Well, it's really very simple. First, you go out and buy a house. <laughs> You know what, why don't you go do that and then I'll explain the rest to you. They want to see an appraisal of my engagement ring. Well, it's probably out with all that paperwork in the garage. Well, you want to go get it? No, you can go get it. You don't mind if I see how much you paid for my engagement ring? Kim, what are you going to leave me if I didn't spend enough? We've been married six years. We have a child together. You need my help to reach anything above the bottom shelf. <laughs> But if you didn't spend enough, I'm buying a step stool and throwing you out on your ass. Oh my God, I can't believe this just fell into my lap. What? Well, she's gonna finally see how much that ring cost. It's about time I got credit for how much I spent. I didn't have to spend a lot of money on Christine's ring. Why is that? Well, you know, they say you're supposed to spend two months' salary. <laughs> Lucky for me, I wasn't working at the time. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what in the world was that for? I can't believe how much money you spent on this ring. Well, that's how much you meant to me. It's 
not even like you bought it at some discount store where you got a deal. This is the best jewelry store in D.C. I know. The best for the best. <laughs> Greg? Yeah, honey? When did you buy this ring? What's that? The receipt says you bought this ring two years before you met me. Well, that's ridiculous. How would they know when I met you? Greg, what's going on? Okay, so I bought you a very, very expensive ring before I met you. I mean, big whoop. <laughs> Why would you buy a ring before you even... You bought this ring for someone else. This is someone else's engagement ring. No, I didn't. That's your engagement ring. I didn't even ask her. Kim, I didn't. I, I came straight home from the jewelers. I was going to ask her for her hand, but it was already busy in my roommate's pants. Well, Greg, why didn't you just return it? Because it was for jewelry store credit only, and I'm not Mr. T. <laughs> Besides, it, it was a beautiful ring, and I knew I would get married someday. I can't believe you bought an engagement ring for someone else and tried to fool me by having Kim engraved in it. Kim, I would never try to fool you. I didn't have Kim engraved in it. Her name, her name was Kelly Irene Maynard. <laughs> it's a miracle, really, when you think about it. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't want it. Kim, you're being ridiculous. I'm not wearing someone else's ring. Well, now what am I supposed to do? Well, it's... Very simple. First, you try not to be a cheap bastard. <laughs> you, you know what? Um, why don't you go do that? Then I'll explain the rest to you. <laughs> hey, the kids are asleep. Ah, uh, <laughs> Ah, in for another dip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do I know how to take care of my baby? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what do you say I turn down the lights and massage the rest of you? And when I say the rest of you, I don't really mean the rest of you. I mean a couple of strategic locations. <laughs> and when I say strategic locations, I don't really mean... No, 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 I get it, I get it. <laughs> All right, why don't you get your feet out of that thing and, uh, come on over here. The water just got nice and warm. And you know what? Actually, the acupressure jets, they haven't finished their full cycle yet, so. Christine, okay, I gave the kids their bath. I did a load of laundry. I don't know about you, but I consider that foreplay. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hmm. <laughs> What are you doing? Nothing. You were looking at the foot bath. No, I wasn't. You were too. Well, it's only because my feet still hurt. Fine. I'll do it. Do what? I'll touch them. I'll touch your feet. Really? Yes, give them to me. I'll give them a rub. I'm not going to let some machine come in here and steal my woman. Again. <laughs> Just put them up here. Let's do this. Okay. Hey, it's not so bad. Kind of like grabbing hold of a long hand with stubby fingers. <laughs> hey, this is all right. Yeah. Hey, see, we don't need that stupid machine anymore. Huh? How's that feel? Uh, great. Great. Yeah. 
Who's your foot daddy now? You are. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> Shut up. You can't just spring this kind of thing on a girl. I need time to think about it. Shut up. Okay, I do. Oh. Now listen, that's all you're getting until our wedding night. I don't know. I don't know what you've heard about me, but I'm a good girl. Will you marry me? What did you do? I'm making up for a mistake I made long time ago. I should have never given you that ring. You bought me my own ring? Well, technically, he tried to give it to me first. <laughs> Shut up! Will you marry me? Yes. This is the same ring. I know. Isn't it great? I found one exactly like it. No, thanks. What? I don't want it. I don't want to wear a ring that reminds me of one that you bought for another girl. But you love that ring. I figured you'd want one just like it. One that I bought for you. Sorry, I don't. Well, fine. Why don't you tell me what kind of ring you want, and I'll go out tomorrow and buy it. Or better yet, come with me, pick one out, and I'll pay for it. You just don't get it, do you? No, no, I don't. I, I never know what the hell is going on. We've been married all this time and you're just figuring that out? Apparently you don't get it either, lady. Greg, Greg, Greg. Women are different. The normal person would just tell me what she wants. And then you would do it. Exactly. And then she'd think the only reason you did it is because she told you to do it. She doesn't want that. What? Uh, one year, I drove a shuttle bus at Lilith Fair. <laughs> hey, Christine, are you in there? Coming. <clears throat> hey, Woo. you're home early. Are your feet wet? Hmm. I don't know, they're just, you know what, they're really sweaty today. <laughs> Weird. What? You were using the foot bath again. I wasn't using it, I just took a quick dip. The water is boiling hot, okay? The cord is warm. How long have you been using this thing? Well, only since, what, what time did you leave for work? Okay, that's it, okay? You'd rather be with that thing than with me? I want it out of our house. No, Jimmy, please. I'm sorry, Christine, but this has got to stop. Look, I want to stop, I do, but it... It just feels so good. It can't be that good. Oh, oh, it is. Better than me? Oh! It's, it's my fault I brought that thing into our house. Well, well, I'll... I have an idea. What? Well, um, maybe we could, you know, use it together. You mean like a threesome? Yeah, if that's what you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I want to call it. I mean, it's the closest I'm ever going to get to one. So. Well, come on. Give it a try. Okay. And I feel a little weird about this. I mean, it's like... We're bringing an appliance into our relationship. I mean, what exactly does that mean? I mean, it just seems kind of creepy and strange and... It, 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 oh. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. I told you. Ah. Oh. 
come on in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ew, that's gross. Oh, honey, we're just soaking our feet. But well, why are you soaking them with a the new potty? <laughs> This isn't a potty. Logan thought it was. <laughs> well, I give up. What? I give up on this whole engagement ring thing. I don't know what you want. All I know is you can't tell me what you want or else you won't get what you want. I thought I married a woman. It turns out I married a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> You didn't even try. Didn't even try? Didn't even try? What do you think I've been doing all weekend? I've been to jewelry stores in every mall, Beverly Hills, even went downtown to the Diamond District. I've looked through every filthy eyepiece in the city. A diamond may last forever, but I'm gonna have pink eye for at least a week. You went to all those places? Yeah, because I was, I was trying to find you the perfect ring, and I found a great one, but the band was gold, and I thought you'd won platinum. Then I found one where the diamond was square, and I thought maybe you'd want it to be round. And then I found one with good color, but I thought you would care more about clarity. Kim, I'm sorry. I, I have no idea what you want. I already got what I want. What? I loved my old engagement ring. Not because of what it looked like. And not because of the band or the cut or the clarity. I loved it because every time I looked at it, I pictured you searching for the ring you thought would be perfect for me. This weekend, you finally did it. And that was all I wanted. Now that I have that, any ring you give me will be fine. Well, in that case, <laughs> will you marry me? Greg. If I open this box <laughs> and you're trying to give me the same ring for the third time, I'm going to be furious. I'll give you a thousand dollars if you give me that box back. <laughs> jewelry store yet. I thought it wasn't about the ring, Zsa Zsa. It's not. It's the thought. The thought that I'm getting a big diamond ring today. I bet it's gonna be huge. Oh, I don't care about that. I just hope the clarity's good. What do you mean? Oh, I just hope that it doesn't have any flaws. At least to the naked eye. I, I hope it's not some cheap diamond with a lot of black spots in it. <laughs> Like this? <laughs> well, it's the thought that counts. Stupid Jimmy told me this was a South African leopard diamond. <laughs> well, hello, ladies. And who is this charming woman? She must be single. I don't see a ring on her finger. <laughs> Well, you know, I've been waiting for the right opportunity to come up. <laughs> and I'm waiting for my lunch to come up. Can we see the ring, please? Yes. Remember how I said I was looking for the perfect ring? Yeah. Well, it doesn't exist. And I realize if I wanted you to have the perfect ring, I would have to design it myself. You're kidding me. You designed a ring yourself? Yeah, you know, like Brad Pitt did with Jennifer Aniston. I can't believe I'm getting a ring designed especially for me. This is the sweetest thing anybody's ever... Oh! Yeah, look, it has six little garnets in it because January's birthstone is garnet. And you were born on the six. And the two diamonds in the middle, one's yellow and one's blue, because we met in college and that was our school colors. <laughs> Sure. Of, of course 
they were. What do you think about the band? Oh, oh. <laughs> you got it engraved on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> that way you don't have to take it off to read it. Go ahead, read it. Te amo, bonita muchacha. Yeah, because we had that Spanish class together, remember? What do you think? It's one of a kind. The jeweler promised me that he'd never make another one like it. I'm gonna go get the camera. We'll take a picture and you can send it to your mother. Well, at least he doesn't have any of those big, ugly, black Shut spots Shut up! <laughs> and the next item up for sale on the National Shopping Network. Wow, this is unbelievable. We have one of the rarest of all jewels, the South African Leopard Diamond. <laughs> the stay! One of the world's most precious stones. They are in short supply all over the world, making them extremely sought after. The stay! <laughs> have only 30 left at this one-time only price of $89.99. What? Never mind. <laughs>